Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another shop talk video and today's topic is going to be when is borrowing a tool just borrowing and when does it cross the line and going into you should be buying that tool and putting it in your own toolbox and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now before we go ahead and begin guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below and definitely smash that like button because it helps the channel out. With that said, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So today's topic is going to be what's the difference between borrowing a tool here and there and getting to the point where you should probably own that tool. It's going to be quite simple. This may actually be a pretty short video. So first and foremost, if you work in a shop and you and your fellow technicians let each other borrow tools, that's totally fine. I am not uh, saying anything regarding that or ragging on it. But to me personally, I've always had this rule in mind where if someone came up to me and asked me to use something, if it's like a one-off occasion here and there, it's totally fine. I'm all for sharing because eventually the day will come where I will need uh, help or I will need a tool or something and you know obviously you got to be friendly with people you work with you don't want to make enemies so sharing is totally fine I, and I've done it and even till this day I will still do it uh, even though you know currently it's just me here in the shop so I got no one asking me to borrow my tools uh, the only people that usually ask to borrow my tools are customers and uh, that's a big no I will never ever let a customer borrow tools because it's just it's a bad situation that'll probably be another video we'll get into that topic but either way if let's say you're working at a dealership and let's say you have a tool and your next door uh, mechanic you know on the stall next to you decides to ask you for a tool to use it uh, and he's doing a job and he borrows it that's totally fine go ahead take it use it but if they're constantly asking you and let's say on the frequency of like two or three times a week and that's going to be every week or you know like every other week they're constantly asking for the same thing to be used i would probably say you may have to you know have that talk with them and tell them hey listen uh you know i'm cool with you borrowing it once or twice but if you're going to be using it two times a week you know every week or every other week uh, you know maybe you should buy it and have your own tool and this is actually a very common thing at the dealership where you know someone will buy a new tool and you know it's great it makes a job so much easier and then other techs don't want to buy it so they all wind up going to that guy like hey, can i borrow can i borrow it but the way i feel about it is this way guys the tool is a tool obviously it's you know you're going to use it make your money call it a day but that's my tool that i decided to spend the money on and if you need help with it once in a while that's fine but if you're gonna just take that tool from me and use it on a constant basis to enrich yourself and make money well you should probably invest in that tool and take the hit like i did so you can make that money like i'm doing instead of just freeloading off me to use my tools and you know and that scenario it's not fair because let's say i forked over 200 dollars for a tool and you know i took that hit and it's taken five or six jobs for me to get that money back you know to pay off that tool and now that tool is profitable to me and you're using that same tool in the same frequency that i am and you haven't paid for it i mean that's kind of unfair to me because i took the hit now i get the point that you know there are just people that don't care like a tool a tool as long as it has a warranty and i can you know get it repaired or fixed like it's fine if it ever breaks but that's the thing what if that tool breaks and you know takes a week to get it or let's say it has to be sent out like you're out of a tool so if you just wound up using that tool normal use as you would normally use it it would probably last you a while versus everyone in the shop or you know a few guys taking that tool and using it uh, constantly without giving it a break so that's my whole standpoint on this that's why i wanted to make this video and share with you guys that typically it's okay to let people borrow stuff but if it gets to a repetitive nature where that one tool or certain tools are constantly being used, I think it's always okay to look at your fellow mechanic or friend or whoever may be and be like, hey, listen, I think you should invest and buy your own tool or tools because, you know, your tools are for you. You spend money on them. You worked hard to make that money and they should be solely making you money in return, not, you know, being tossed around the shop different mechanics making everybody money now a lot of you may have a difference of opinion on that but i think what's fair is fair if i bought something and i you know bought it to make money for myself if you let other people use it uh, every now and then it's okay but if they're constantly using it i mean you're just you know hurting yourself at the end of the day and i feel that uh, most people are too afraid to have that conversation with a fellow mechanic and tell them hey listen i'm sorry uh, you can't use my tools because of this and that and I feel that that shouldn't be on the table You should be able to do that uh, Unless you just don't really care, but in my opinion 
Uh, there is a such thing as a certain amount of times you can borrow something before I have to tell you, hey, you need to go buy your own tool because you know, you're just using it way too much. And if you're needing it to use it that often, you should probably have one in your toolbox. And uh, that's pretty much what I have to say on this topic. So if you guys uh, like this video, always please comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely helps the channel grow. Hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next video.